Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really miss sitting down in my room and actually talking to my camera, so this feels good. In case you aren't a huge Harry Potter fan and haven't been keeping up with all the exciting news they've been announcing, there is going to be a new movie coming out in two weeks based in the Harry Potter universe, and that is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the movie. I am so excited for that. I'll take any Harry Potter I can get at this point, so this is just making me super excited. I'm just going to be going through the questions on my laptop, which is right here, and let's just get into some Harry Potter stuff. So we're going to begin with Hogwarts, and then I'm going to get my wand. So let's just start the sorting ceremony. The first question is dawn or dusk. I'm going to go with dusk, even though both are beautiful. I just feel drawn to dusk right now, so we're going to go with that. One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say that you don't know, but hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate, and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Ooh, this is a very difficult question. Um, I'm kind of torn between two answers, so I'm just going to think about this for a moment. I'm going to go with, tell Professor Flitwick the truth if your classmate is prepared to win by cheating. He deserves to be found out. Also, as you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Basically, this just lists a bunch of different cats and toads and owls and I'm just gonna go with a black cat because that is my spirit animal. Next question, you enter an enchanted garden. What would you be most curious to examine first? The silver leaf tree bearing golden apples, the fat red toadstools that appear to be talking to each other, the bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling, the statue of an old wizard with a strangely twinkling eye. I would definitely examine the bubbling pool in the depths of which something luminous is swirling. That just sounds very enchanted. How would you like to be known to history? The wise, the good, the great, the bold. I would like to be known as the great. Let's just go with the great. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Apparition and disapparition, being able to materialize and dematerialize at will, transfiguration, turning one object into another object, flying on a broomstick, hexes and jinxes, all about magical creatures and how to be friends slash care for them, secrets about the castle, every area of magic I can. I'm definitely going to go with every area of magic I can because I want to know all of the magic things, just all of them. Which of the following do you find most difficult to deal with? Hunger, cold, loneliness, boredom, being ignored. I don't really find much difficulty in any of these. Hunger, okay. Cold, meh. Loneliness, I can deal with that. Boredom, I'm not really bored. Being ignored, um, let's go with being ignored. Black or white, um, definitely gonna go with black because that's just a beautiful color. I got Slytherin! I honestly cannot lie, I'm very happy I got Slytherin. I was really secretly hoping that I'd get it again, and I did, so I'm very happy. Now we're gonna move on to discovering my wand, which is exciting. I really wish that I could actually have a nice, a nice, you know, wand. I would really display that. So the first question is, to ensure we find the perfect wand for you, it's very important that you answer the following questions honestly. First of all, would you describe yourself as average height, short, tall? I'd say I'm average height because I'm definitely not short. I used to think I was, but then I realized that people are much shorter than me, so I'm going to go with average height. And your eyes? It basically just goes through a bunch of eye colors. I have hazel eyes. Was the day on which you were born an even number or an odd number? I was born on October the 13th, so that is an odd number. Do you most pride yourself on your kindness, optimism, determination, resilience, imagination, intelligence, originality? I am going to go with determination because when I want to do something I'm very determined. Traveling alone down a deserted road you reach a crossroads. Do you continue left towards the sea, 
and head towards the forest, right towards the castle. Um, we're gonna go ahead towards the forest. Do you most fear fire, darkness, isolation, small spaces, or heights? I don't really have a huge fear of any of these. My huge fear is machines, which is um, odd. So if anyone else out there fears machines, let me know. Other than that, let's see. I'm going to go with small spaces because those are really annoying. In a chest of magical artifacts, which would you choose? Ornate mirror, dusty bottle, golden key, silver dagger, bound scroll, Glittering Jewel, Black Glove. I don't trust the Black Glove. Black Glove, I just don't trust that thing, so I'm gonna steer clear. I'm thinking a Silver Dagger, um, because, um, I mean, you know, daggers are fun. So we're gonna go with that. My wand is English oak wood with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half inches and reasonably supple flexibility. Let's read more about my wand. So English oak, a wand for good times and bad. This is a friend as loyal as the wizard who deserves it. Wands of English oak demand partners of strength, courage, and fidelity. Less well known is the propens propensity for owners of English oak wands to have powerful intuition and often an affinity with the magic of the natural world with the creatures and plants that are necessary to wizard kind for both magic and pleasure. The oak tree is called king of the forest from the winter solstice up until the summer solstice, and its wood should only be collected during that time. In parentheses, holly becomes king as the days begin to shorten again, and so holly should only be gathered as the year wanes. This divide is believed to be the origin of the old superstition, when his one's oak and hers is holly, then to marry would be folly, a superstition that I have found baseless. It is said that Merlin's wand was of English oak, though his grave has never been found, so this cannot be proven. I'm going to quickly read about dragon. As a rule, dragon heartstrings produce wands with the most power and which are capable of the most flamboyant spells. Dragon wands tend to learn more quickly than others, while they can change allegiance if one from their original master, they always bond strongly with the current owner. The dragon wand tends to be easiest to turn to the dark arts, though it will not incline that way of its own accord. It is also the most prone of the three cores to accidents, being somewhat temperamental. Slytherin and an English oak wand with a dragon heartstring core, 12 and a half inches, reasonably supply flexible, I think that's what it said, not exactly sure. Um, in case you wanted to know, my Patronus is a raven and my Ivermorny house is Wampus. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've taken these quizzes and what your answers were. I would love to have a good discussion down below. Yeah, I hope you have an amazing November, an amazing week, and I am keeping up fall videos throughout November. I'm not starting any winter or Christmas until December because I just can't stand it, so hopefully you're okay with that. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next weekend. Bye!